Hey guys, it's Kaz the Diesel Doctor here. Just wanted to take a quick minute and uh, make a video real quick on something that uh, I came across. Um, this is a 6.4 liter head. Uh, this is just for mock-up, just to kind of show you uh, the purpose of the video. Uh, helps with demonstration. But we had a uh, 6.4 come in with a low compression issue uh, on a um, uh, engine that uh, had new rocker assemblies installed on it and uh, this is the first time I've ever ran across this issue. I mean I knew that Ford actually had a problem with this back in 2015 and uh, it was where they had machined the uh, rocker pedestal, uh, this piece right here. They had actually machined it wrong. Uh, this kind of, the reason why I'm sharing this video is to show you some of the frustration as a, as a um, shop owner, uh, engine builder, as uh, someone that is subject to uh, other manufacturers, uh, in to the loose tolerances or quality control issues because at the end of the day uh, our customer is paramount we're going to take care of whatever it takes we're going to make, make it right and we uh, get stuck a lot of times with the cost because uh, the manufacturer will not uh, step up and make good for it but anyways on a pedestal like this uh, they would have it like a heart shape uh, on the casting and I, I learned that uh, from 2015 they had a, a bulletin and they told all the Ford dealers to pull their inventory uh, with certain casting numbers. But uh, it's 2018, and we had this uh, engine come in with a low compression issue on the number one cylinder, and it was actually holding the exhaust valve and the intake valve open at top dead center. And upon further examination, this brand new pedestal, now obviously this is, this is old, okay? But this is just one we pulled just so for the purpose of you being able to see the video. Um, this uh, pedestal, we pulled off the truck um, and checking thinking that maybe that the uh, valve stem height was incorrect um, or maybe the push rod length was too long something that was causing ex it basically it was taking up all the uh, the valve lash anyways what we found was that the pedestal had been machined incorrectly now if you look starting from left to right you can see right here it's got of course it's got uh, dowels that sit in this hole there's no gap right here and there's no gap right here there's no gap right here and as you come to this one you can see that there's a huge gap there well the deal is, is it's not warpage if it was warpage they just all pull down and everything would be okay the problem with it is is this is actually uh, the tops of these right here to here are they actually the same height but this piece right here is machined incorrectly so that when it's bolted down it actually goes down hundred and twenty thousandths deeper and that's enough to take up all the valve lash uh, that is uh, in the uh, hydraulic uh, excuse me, the hydraulic lifter, and it would keep the valve uh, staying open on both intake and exhaust. But Ford Motor Company, of course, um, all they want to do is pay $150 for the labor, um, and that's max. Now the, the cab had to come off the truck, the head had to come off the truck, and the reason why is because this this could have been replaced, okay? There, there wouldn't have been any issue, but what happened was it damaged the lifter. Um, the lifter is actually still operable, but the problem with it is, is if, you, if you're looking while you're running it, it's just pouring oil out and it bottomed out and it messed the seat up in the lifter um, so that it's uh, puking oil out and I obviously can't send it out like that. So we have to pull the head off the truck uh, to get to the lifters, which is extremely aggravating, especially when it was a brand new part that was just machine wrong uh, directly from Ford. But uh, it's not, I'm not picking on Ford because the thing is, is I see this stuff happen all the time. Chevrolet, Dodge, doesn't matter. I mean, goodness knows, they've, they've, they've all got their problems. But um, it's just a frustration as a business owner um, that we stand good for whatever we sell, but um, not all companies do that, and especially the cheaper parts today. Uh, it's, you know, you go with OEM because you think, well, you're going to get quality. But that's a lot of times just not the case. And if you're messed over like this and you find this problem, uh, you're, just, you're stuck with it. You really don't have any, uh, any choice but to eat it and uh, just go on about it but anyway just wanted to show you so if anybody has this problem uh, please let me know uh, if you've ran across this problem here as of late I know like I say in 2015 they did have this issue um, and I don't know the exact issue they just said that the machined the, the uh, pedestal was incorrect and um, that uh, they were exhibiting problems of low compression and no start issues and things like that uh, so anyways uh, that's something to be looking out for especially if you're uh, I know we've got a lot of shop owners and a lot of techs on this page. Something to be looking out for. Keep heads out. For, um, keep a heads up for that, and uh, make sure that that doesn't, doesn't happen to you. So examine that before you install it. Thanks for watching.